Hey guys, welcome back to RHR Jen. I'm so glad you're here, you guys. We have a lot to talk about, starting with this. <laughs> Did you see Stephanie and Nancy on Halloween night? If not, check out the hot girls from Scooby-Doo. That's right, the beautiful ladies. Look at their costumes. I just want to make sure you saw because they're so cute. But we have a lot to talk about. Today we're going to be talking best of Twitter or worst of Twitter. No, all the stuff going on. There's lots of Harry and Meghan stuff to talk about. Lots of people are talking about that stupid appearance of Harry at NATO. So we, we have lots to dive into. I'm Jen. Thanks so much for being here. Honk, honk, everyone. And uh, speamy to you all. Let's get speamy. Okay, I'm quickly interrupting to let you know I have new merch. Based on the live chat where I was just having a rough time, but wearing a shirt that said everything is fine <laughs> through gritted teeth. You guys asked for some merch that said that. So I have it now. Look at this goose, stressed out goose. I think a lot of us are stressed out geese right now, geese and ganders, but it says everything is fine. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy it. I'll put the link in the comments uh, down below. So definitely check that out. Thanks. Okay, we're starting off with some sunshine right off the bat because who doesn't love Sophie and a very cute dog? This was shared by Prince and Princess of Wales, Tribes Britannia, and it says dogs can always sense a good person. Oh my gosh. Don't you know it? I love this dog. I love Sophie. I love this picture. Look at how genuinely happy they both seem. Just a fun way to start this off before we dive into the cesspool. Shall we dive into the cesspool? All right, here we go. This was shared by Helen Mackey, and I just, I thought it was so beautifully said. Prince William does a documentary about ending homelessness. Meanwhile, on the other side of the pond, his brother does documentaries about how hard his life is. I know which one I warm to. Um, I just thought that was such a good point. That's exactly it, and that's, that's the difference. In my opinion, William and Catherine understand their position and understand the importance of using it to do good. Harry and Meghan, all about themselves. The concept is completely lost on them. I just, I thought this was so well said. Okay. Then this has been a thing going around with the sugars or the sewer squad or the lemon rats, whatever you prefer, Megan's mediocre mafia, whatever you prefer to call them. Um, this, what we're getting into right here. This was shared by Livy Lou and it says the irony of people accusing William of using Princess Diana for his homelessness initiative. Um, hello. This is exactly what Diana would have wanted her name to be used for. The world constantly uses her to feed drama while her, not the world, I'd say the other two, while her elder son is out there using her name to help people. Amen to that. I cannot, I mean, I, again, so well said. This is exactly what's been bugging me too. Harry and Meghan have beat this thing over and over, you know, the, trying to make the Diana comparison and, oh, Diana and Diana, and ha almost making it seem like it's so much harder for Harry than everybody else. Um, oh, and, and Megan apparently allegedly can communicate with Diana, make that make sense. And yet here's William doing all this good that we know Di Diana would have been proud of him for and, and, and proud to lend her name to. So it's ridiculous that anybody has anything like this to say. Okay. Let's talk this weird NATO thing. We're going to get into it and what happened, but I had to laugh about this. Can I have some money? <laughs> Megan spent all my inheritance. Uh. Um... There's just so much going on here. My first thought is nobody seems to be looking at the screen. Yes, this is doctored with this cartoon image, but truly it's the craziest looking blurry screen. Nobody seems to be paying a bit of attention. Yes, they have some sort of devices, but it doesn't look like Harry's on that screen either. So I really wonder, are they all just like checked out? I would be. <laughs> I don't even blame. I actually would judge them if they were paying attention to Harry. But let's talk about this actual visit. This was shared by Queer Lips of Truth, too. And it says, yesterday, when I revealed that Clown Prince, that's a great name for him, Clown Prince Harry only went to NATO to beg for money in sponsorship for his Invictus, one Mew Mew said I was lying and asking if I was in the room. Well, read below from NATO's own official account. It was a marketing session for Engriftus Games. So again, he can go there and try to lobby for money. And I want to see every single receipt on every stupid outfit and expense Megan has submitted to Engriftus. So they can beg for money from NATO. And yet, again, just the expenses. We've seen them fly private. We've seen the ridiculous amount of outfits and the money spent and 
uh, the security and all that is so crazy. And yet they're there begging. It, it just, to me, it just further takes down the game. I mean, it just, that gives no credibility is what I'm trying trying to say to the games. And then he goes on to post this, which I won't even read to you, basically backing up what he's saying. To me, it appears like Harry's there to lobby for money for Engriptus. This is ridiculous. Why is anybody allowing him to go? In? He's not even going anywhere. Why is anybody allowing him to beam himself in from his, wherever his man cave, wherever he is, He's come out of hiding to ask for money for Invictus. And again, I say, show the receipts. Maybe instead of bringing your wife who adds nothing to it and has nothing to do with the games, um, use that money that you would spend on her dumb outfits, and the, you know, all the services she requires or whatever. Use that how you will. Um, maybe use that money back into Invictus and you wouldn't be having to lobby NATO for the money. Princess Car Parkle, friend of the show, jumps in our live chat sometimes, Hong Kong friend, posted this, basically saying the same thing I was, which is, oh look, Harry broke cover with a fancy new haircut. Oh God. We had so many jokes about that on a live stream, by the way, that we thought he was out getting plugs. Um, let's see. Why is this clown addressing NATO? He has neither the credentials, education, or experience to be addressing an international military alliance. Go back to the hole where you were hiding in. Hashtag Prince Shirley. That's pretty great. And then somebody else pointed out, and I did talk about this on the live chat, he's wearing a poppy. Okay. Think about that with the military. Right above him to the right is showing the Ripple of Hope Award that allegedly, we believe, in my opinion, was bought and paid for. And it was for what? For putting down the queen, calling her the Istwards. And then somebody rightly pointed out, like, that that ties back into being the head of the military. So you're insulting. So it's fine to do all that, but accept these awards. It's just so crazy. I don't even know why I'm trying. It's the continued hypocrisy. I can't stand him. Okay, th this one was shared by that one. And it says, it basically is making Harry into an MLM situation. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I can't do his voice. I speak to you today as an ambassador of my wife. Would you like so to buy our jam? And then he, they have him peddling jam. I think that's pretty great. We have Royally Sage pointing out the way he's making NATO look like a joke. I really don't understand this. I really don't. I don't understand why anybody would even take his meeting at this point. Why is he out there trying to solicit for this? Again, I'd like to see the receipts. I keep saying this, but I'm stuck on this. I want to know how much. We always get those articles about, you know, $200,000 coat or whatever the hell she's wearing, that kind of thing. I'd like to know the overall bills, what was spent, and, um, and how he can just sit there and lobby for money when his wife... Well, he and his wife are the biggest culprits of the spending, it sounds like. We really will move off this, but I've got two more to show you. Okay, Nancy, of course, Sidley Twins, showed this. Thriving. This is Harry thriving. There we get a close-up of that pube, I mean, haircut that he's got going on there. I really, he just looks so thrilled to be there. My wife says I have to ask you guys for money, and they look thrilled to have him there. It's like, oh, God, what else can I look at besides this guy? Last one. So this was shared by Nancy. Uh, again, Sidley Twins, fake or real? So in case you don't know, this has been an ongoing thing. You have to go watch the Twins. They did a whole video on it where they, it appears that Megan's photo is being photoshopped into some, some photos. It's very odd. She's Her proportions don't make sense to everybody around her. The shadowing doesn't. So Nancy went ahead and fixed this one for them too. Look, Megan's right there with him. They're so in love. All right, then we have Lean Meme Machine. And she made this, I guess it's a magazine. It's uh, witches. It says, Meghan Markle gets ready for Halloween. I don't need a costume. The evil witch from Montecito will celebrate the spooky day by releasing her dumb husband from the basement. He will be forced to attend Markle's seance called Mummy Says. <laughs> I love that Mummy Says. Where she, um, she will convince Harry that his mom said he has to deposit his inheritance money into Megan's account. I just thought that was so good. You know, I love Lean Me Machine. This one really gave me a laugh. 
a uh, little uh, Halloween laugh. Oh God, that, that picture. That's the crazy thing. I use this picture quite a bit. Yes, she added the witch stuff around her, but that is Megan's face. She, I don't think she doctored that. Like I've seen that picture. It was an Invictus one year. She showed, actually the first year she went, I believe she showed up with Marcus looking like this. I was like, um, hi, where have you been? What have you been doing? Okay. I need to talk about this with you guys for about mm, 14 hours. Jessica A shared this and said, my mom saw this in a Facebook group and said to tell you guys, this must be the reason Megzi chose Northwestern. Oh my God. Has anything ever clicked so much for you as it did for me? As soon as I saw this, as soon as I saw this, I knew, I knew, holy cow. Is that why Megzi chose Northwestern? Surely not. Is it? Because she's psycho. <laughs> She would do something like that, is it? I'm still stuck on Halloween. Don't care. This was shared to me by Carla. Thank you, Carla, for this. Um, yikes. <laughs> Actually, no, I see no difference. This is just a regular, uh, she called backward on herself for this one, right? No, seriously, this is nightmare fuel. Thank you, Carla, for this. All right, I'm going to wrap up this silliness with this ray of sunshine. Um, guys, I love this photo so much of them. I truly do. Gorgeous. I'm obsessed with that color on her. I think she just looks so beautiful. Beautiful photo, beautiful couple. What a fun way to end the episode. Let me know your thoughts on all this. I'm still stuck on this NATO thing. What in the world? Why would you have, like, is he coloring while <laughs> trying to I need some money. Like, that's all I can think of. He's a petulant child pouting and asking for money. I, I just, I can't make sense out of that. And it is weird. It's weird that he's been in hiding. And then he comes out for this NATO thing. I want to know, again, I need to see receipts on that. And I want to know if NATO gave them any money and how that works. Hmm. And why NATO? Yeah, I'm kind of stuck on that too. Anyway, guys, sorry. This one's kind of been all over the place, but uh, we did a like a, basically a seven hour, no, it was like six and a half hour live chat and a recording after that. So beam everywhere. <laughs> that was the best live chat ever. Six and a half hours, I think it was. I'm a little loopy. Um, I will do another live chat very soon. I'll let you know what day. Next week's going to be chaos because, you know, I don't want to talk about elections, but it, they will be elections. So we probably won't be able to live chat as much at the beginning of the week, but uh, maybe I'll try to knock out another one this weekend. I'll keep you posted. Thank you guys for everything. I appreciate you all so much. Uh, all the love and support. You mean the whole wide world to me. Of course, if you want to further support the show, you know how to do it. Check out the merch. We have the everything's fine, Goose. I'm so thankful to everybody that picked stuff up from that collection. I really appreciate that. I'm so glad you like it so much. I do too. Um, and then of course we have Patreon, patreon.com slash real housewives recaps. Yep. It still has the old name on it. Um, but that's how you can further support. There's tons of episodes. There's like 500 some odd episodes over there of me just talking crazy. So <laughs> check that out if you're interested. I think it's like five bucks a month. will give you access to everything. You can get all the back episodes. You can binge to your heart's desire. So check that out. And, um, if, and then it's a little bit more if you want to add your name to the end of, of this list, like you see before you. But again, thank you guys for everything. I'm obsessed with Sophie and that dog. I don't know who I want to pet more, and I'm not trying to be a weirdo. I'm just straight up saying I love Sophie. I want to pet her too, and I want to pet that dog. All right, guys, I'm rambling. Thank you for everything. I really appreciate it. I can't wait to bring you more stuff like this. Honk, honk, everyone. Have the best day. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.